There's a few ways you can go about viewing stage history on an opportunity or other records that tend to go through various stages or status designations, such as cases or leads as well. One is you can hover over the chevrons in a path that I have on this opportunity here, and you notice that the contracting stage, this opportunity has been at that stage for 329 days. There's also a related list called Stage History, and you can click on that to go to that particular related list. And you see the name of the stage as well as any changes, and you notice that this is in uh, the most recent, is at the top. So the initial change went from prospecting to perception analysis along with an amount being filled in and the date and time of that, and then over the subsequent days, several more changes before it finally stopped making any movement. Now another way, in addition to stage history related list, is you can go into reports and create a history report. And so here's the different types of history reports that you can create in Salesforce, a good amount of which you'll find account, contact, opportunity, case, and more. And so let's look at opportunity history and continue. Now let's look at the filters in this report. And what I want to do is show all opportunities instead of just my opportunities apply that and then the opportunity close date instead of the current fiscal quarter I will say all time to pull all those in and now with the toggle for update preview automatically selected the preview appears here so I'm going to save this and then run it I'm going to say this is just the opportunity history report I'll select a public folder public reports folder instead I'll select that click save and so now if I click run it'll give me the end user experience of what this would look like for an end user and you notice that there's been 1,144 stage changes inside of this org that I'm in. And the last modified day we've got, you can sort this by ascending or descending. So the most recent, there's not been much activity in here because I'm recording this towards the end of 2021 in late December. So this org has laid dormant for several months but had a lot of good data in it. So I wanted to use it for an example, but you'll notice that there will be some repetition here as far as the opportunity name, but it's because we've got the to stage and the from stage. So I've changed it from closed lost to negotiation review and then from negotiation review to closed one. So it gives you more details on the changes that have been made on various opportunities. And this is given for all opportunities in your org as well. So you can get really detailed with your history reports, not only for opportunities, but other objects as well, as I mentioned. So if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Also, please comment down below what you'd like to learn about Salesforce, and I just might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.